Hello, hello, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. How are you today? Hello, hello, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Good evening, Selma. Good evening, Jenny. Good evening, Elisa. Good evening, good evening Jose. Teacher. How are you? Are you ready for your class? It's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. <laughs> are you ready for the weekend? Yes, I'm ready for the weekend. All right, that's good. All right, let's get started, guys. We're going to go ahead and start. In yesterday's class, we were looking at the uh, midterm exam. Today, we're going to move forward, and we're going to be continuing with the lesson, which is uh, lesson number 4.0. In this class, you will be exposed to an audio where examples of past, present, and future tenses are used. So we're gonna look at past, present, and future tenses. Let's listen and then we will discuss. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Can everybody here? Now it's a pizzeria. Can really? everybody here? Let's go check it out. All this yes, I'm here. Yes. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. Did you get the tenses? Did you notice how they used simple past along with present and future? Stay with us so you can learn to do the same. Okay, so in this activity, you were practicing how to describe a neighborhood. This is the activity that we were looking at yesterday. So today we're gonna move on and we're gonna be looking at time contrasts. Listen, please. Hello everyone, before you watch our video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use the verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago, or people used to, or 50 years ago, and our verbs are in past. We used lived and walked. Let's move on to the present, and here we use these days, today, or nowadays, and of course, our verbs are is growing, shop, and drive, which are in the present. Last but not least, we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore, we use verbs in future, will be, might buy, are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use, just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence per tense. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expressions. At that time, in the past, then. Present expressions. Currently, in the meantime, now. Future expressions. In the next couple of years, next, in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed. Okay, so we're going to be looking at these expressions right here. Uh, for example, repeat please. 
As a child, I used to. As a child, I used to. For example, you could say, as a child, I used to play Nintendo. And the next one, listen and repeat. Five years ago, I. Five years ago. Five years ago. Five years ago, I. Years ago, I and then you're going to express something about your life five years ago. Uh, let's look at the next one. Repeat. Nowadays, I. Nowadays, I. Nowadays, I. Next year, I'm going to. Next year, I'm going to. In five years, I'll. In, in five years, years I'll, I'll, in I'll, ten years, I'll I'll I sobrino. might. I'll 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 ten years, I might. I might. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what, what you're going to do with this, with this exercise, what I would like for you to do is talk about your life. Talk about how you were when you were a child. How are you now in the present? And how do you see yourself in the future? I want you to give me at least one, two, three, four, five, six sentences. And you are going to write it here in the discussion forum. You're going to copy where it says time contrast. And then you're going to come over here where it says, añade una publicación. You're going to put time contrast right there. And then here, you're going to give me six examples about your life. Also, um, you can also talk about a, your neighborhood, where you, the area where you live. You can talk about your neighborhood, uh, expressing how things are different. Uh, for example, parks, shopping centers, um, schools, uh, maybe if there are new roads, new stores in your neighborhood, uh, things like that. Any questions at this moment? Any questions at this moment? No. Okay. Let's go ahead and write the examples. If you have any questions, please raise your hands and I will help you. I want everybody to write the examples on the platform. Let's go. Hola José, tiene la, la, la plataforma, la puede compartir. Ok. All right, y'all can practice together. Good evening. No. All right, y'all can practice together. We have okay. Giselle. No sé si alguien puede compartir la, la pantalla. I don't know if you can. 
Or you can uh, say your example. Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Need more time, teacher. Okay, all right. We're going to go ahead and change partners. One participant can uh, share the screen. Teacher, and uh, we need to work in the 4.2 or what? Uh, yeah, the exercise is this one. You're looking at exercise 4.3. Thank you. And you're going to write the examples down here at the bottom. At this moment, do you guys have any questions in regards to the vocabulary or in regards to the exercise or the conversation? Anybody? Questions, questions? Anybody? One body, two bodies. Three bodies? <laughs> Nobody. Okay. All right. Let's do it. If you have a question, please raise your hand. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, compañeros. Vamos a hacer oraciones, dijo el teacher. ¿verdad? En la plataforma. Sí, con los... Ah, vaya. ¿Qué número es de la plataforma? Es, ya le digo, es que lo tengo yo. La sección es la número 4.3. 4.3. All right, guys, I want you to work together. I want you to work as a group, Oscar, Janet, and Michelle. Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Oscar, Janet, Michelle, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Okay. All right. A mí se me escucha como que se corta. No sé si es mi internet. Okay. So I'm going to put her on. I'm going to put you on one. And Janet, uh, hello. Do you understand the exercise? And I'm going to put Michelle over here. It's noisy and in my in my city is a many industrial hacer algo el siguiente sería el verbo ah okay entonces tendríamos que poner de niña eh, yo solía Jugar con muñecas o... Ah, jugar con muñecas. Muñeca. Ajá. Play. Tomarle copia y pegar. Ya. Yeah. 
a esto, creo. I... In the first example, I wrote uh, as a child. I used to play soccer every afternoon with my cousin. <laughs> Okay, you can send me the, the, the example on the WhatsApp group. Oh, no, no, so in the chat, you can send the example in the chat, por favor. Okay. Y después el siguiente, que lo mande el siguiente, yo voy a mandar el mío. Y así hasta terminar. Entonces sería el primero. Entonces, este, creo que Sara, Sara, ¿verdad? Yes. Tú vas a empezar con el primer ejemplo que sería Hasochat. Y, eh, Nextalí, tú puedes ir con Five Years Ago. A, cinco años atrás, yo estaba haciendo qué? ¿Qué estabas haciendo cinco años atrás? Y yo voy a seguir con Nowadays, hoy en día, así. Ok. I voy send a mandar, you the, the example. Voy a mandar mi ejemplo. Entonces a ti el número uno, me salí el número dos y yo hago el número tres y después hacemos los demás. Ya lo mandaste. Voy a yes. mandar el mío. Ok. Lo voy a escribir. El siguiente ejemplo lo diría en el calibre. Yo voy a escribir el mío ahorita al grupo. I think uh, Michelle, sorry, Janet and yes. Giselle can share their um, example in the chat. In the WhatsApp group. No, here. Okay. But I don't know if, if they have the example. Okay. I think we we only we only are three persons here, but no. Um. Also, Giselle and Janet. Okay. I work my own business. Ese es, ese es mi ejemplo 
the nowadays. He am I don't know. Four years ago, I played soccer with my son. Now he likes to play basketball. Okay. And, and five years ago, I got a eh, ese, el que dice in five years no le vamos a poner a go eh, in five years ese es para futuro de aquí a cinco años eh, yeah. el, 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 ajá, right. el anterior sí el que decía uh -huh. five years ago ahí sí uh -huh, que uh -huh. está diciendo hace yes, cinco yes. años pero uh -huh. el que dice in yeah. five years ese es para el futuro Sí, tiene razón. Who shared the number five years ago? You, Natalie. You really? Hola. The, uh, the sample number two is five years ago. Ah, oh, okay. Five years ago, I played soccer. Five years ago, I played soccer. Creo que ya están todos los ejemplos, ¿verdad? Pero no dice no, 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 Igual. Esto, esto. Ajá, no, pero ya vamos, a, ya vamos a poner otro ejemplo como que hicimos hace cinco años. Ah, entonces hay estudi bachillerato, digamos, un ejemplo. High school. High school, bachillerato high school. Estudié, creo que estudié. Ajá, hay study. Study at high school. Creo que ahí explica el ED. Study high school, ¿no? 
Ajá. ¿Cómo le pone high? high? Primero la G y luego la H. High, así. Sí, así es. High. No, sin T. Sin T. Sí. School. Pero va separado. Separado. No, separado. va a separar. School. Sí. High school. Ay, Así. Entonces, hace cinco años yo estudié bachillerato, sí. un ejemplo. El otro ejemplo. Exacto. El otro sería no guardáis ahora en día. No. No. No guardáis. No guardáis. Dais. Unida. Así. Ah. Ajá. No guardáis. Ay. Puede ser con I... otro tema. Bueno, uh, I do tema. exercise. I working o I Ajá, porque ya es lo que hacemos ahora en día ya. I working and study English. Yo trabajo y estudio inglés. Trabajo y ajá. I, I work. I work. I to work. No, I I no, I work. Yo solo trabajo. Work, uh -huh. solo work. I work. I work and study English. In. In. Ah. Sí, ahí se me fue. Study in English. ¿Así? Ay, no days I work in and your... study too. Next. Sí. Próximo año. Next year. Next. Sí, próximo año. Year. I will. Coma, o, o I, I am going. I'm I, going to. I am going to. Going to. Sí, going to. Going, going to, to. Do exercise. <laughs> Next year I go. I am going to. Ajá. Es el próximo digamos, año. Travel. Viajaré. Va. Un ejemplo. Ejercicio. Ah. Uh, ah, to, to travel. Ah, uh, I going uh -huh. to travel. Uh -huh. Pero podría poner algún país. To USA o oh, Canadá. Creo que tendría que poner la palabra. <ríe> París. <ríe> <ríe> no, pero ahí las mujeres van a. <ríe> <ríe> no, Nosotros, no tal vez a Miami, pero. <ríe> Entonces, pero, ahí está el ejemplo. O Houston, Texas. <risa> a Dallas, Texas <risa> For real. Entonces Canadá Cualquier la ponga ahí Le haya más llamado más la atención Y is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Yes Teacher I can do it. Okay, okay. All right, let's uh, let's continue because we gotta move forward. I go to my house and when I stay in my house working. Okay, okay, that's okay. Teacher, I am in the cell phone. Okay, all right. My computer is really, really. No sé, no sirve, no funciona, me muero. Okay. No okay. carga nada, así es que estoy desde el cel. Okay, that's okay. You can work on it later on. Yes. All right, guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and take the attendance. We're going to take the attendance. When I call your name, please say present. When I call your name, please say present.
Is everybody back? No, we still got more people coming in. Okay. Let's wait a little bit for everybody to come back. All right, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, it's time for the attendance. So when I call your name, please say present. When I call your name, please say present. Benjamin. 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 Uh, Alejandro. Here. Thank you. Brenda. Brenda. Present. Thank you. Carmen. Present. Very good. Edgar. Edgar. Absent. Okay. Uh, Elisa. Elisa. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Giselle. Present. Very good. Uh, Janet. Janet. Present, teacher. Excellent. Jose. Present. Very good. Karen Bernal. Present, teacher. Excellent. Karen Villanueva. Karen Villanueva is absent. Okay. I escribieron chat, teacher. Ah, I escribió en el chat, Karen Villanueva. Benjamin. Yeah. Ah, Benjamin, this, I'm sorry, here is raining, the connection is bad, I didn't hear. Okay, okay. Bueno, Benjamin present, y Giselle dice present también. Okay, Giselle, ya llamé Giselle. Sí, Giselle present, okay, thank you. Eh, gracias, guys, por avisarme. Uh, Leslie is absent. Maria. Maria. Ahí escribió, teacher. Okay. Maria. Maria, vamos a ver. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Leslie, present. Gracias, Leslie. All right. Leslie, present. Maria, present. Marlene. Present teacher. Thank you. Melissa. Present. Thank you, Melissa. Uh, Michelle. Present. Very good. Neftali. Present, teacher. Thank you. Nimrod. Present. Very good. Oscar Santana. Present, teacher. Excellent. Oscar Zambrano. Oscar Zambrano. Está escribiendo. Ah, presente en puso el en el chat. En el chat puso presente. Good, thank you. Roberto. A present teacher. Excellent, Roberto. Sara. Present. Thank you. Selma. Present. Excellent. Silvia. Present. Very good. Wendy. Wendy is absent. Okay. Jenny. Present, teacher. Present. Thank you. All right. So we got only one person. Wendy is absent. And. Edgar, okay. Good job. Teacher. Hi. Karen Villanueva always have problem return. Okay. Principal 
class. Okay. All right. I'm going to talk to her. Thank you. Okay, guys. Um, is everybody finished with the activity or do you need more time? Are you finished with the activity or do you need more time with these examples? Eh, ¿Terminaron la actividad o necesitan más tiempo? Solo en una plataforma escribimos, digamos, en eh, cada quien uno del, del grupo. Ah, okay. Y los otros aportando las ideas. Ajá. Ok, ok. Who can give me an example with as a child I used to? Who can give me an example? As a child, I used child, to. I used to play soccer in the street. Okay, good. Thank you, Jenny. As a child, I used to play soccer in the street. Very good. Uh, another example, five years ago, I... Study, studied uh, high school. Excellent. Five years ago, I studied high school. Good job, Jose. Uh, the next one, nowadays, I work and study English. Very good. Nowadays, I work and study English. Good job, Michelle. The next one, next year, I'm going to. Next year, I'm going to get married with my new job. All right. Next year, I'm going to have a new job. Next year, I'm going to visit my family. All right. The next one. In five years, I'll. In five years, I will get my own business. Excellent. In five years, I'll get my own business. Excellent, Roberto. The next in one. Five years, in uh -huh. five years, I'll uh -huh. buy my house. Excellent. I'll buy my house. Good job. Uh, the next one. In 10 years, I might. Visit Canada. Or visit another country. Uh, might is talbet. It's como el maybe. 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 Okay. In 10 years, I might go to Los Angeles. Good. Good. Okay, guys. Uh, if you're not finished, please finish. That's going to be your homework. And put it here on the discussion forum. Now, I would like for us to look at knowledge check instructions match the phrases with the appropriate information. I want you to share your answers with your partners. Share your answers with your partners and we're going to change the groups. Okay. Share your answers with your partners and then we will check together. Y 4.4 knowledge, knowledge check. ¿Qué número? 4.4. Yeah, one person can share the screen. Okay. Usted la tiene ahí a la mano. ¿no? Hey, work as a group, guys. Work as a group. Okay. Hey, one person can share the screen.
Uh, teacher, uh, yeah. Uh, what what we can do? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about what? I'm sorry. Oh, this one right here, exercise number uh, four point four. Oh, okay. And you're going to complete the exercise and share your answers. Oh, okay, teacher. I got it. Yeah, and somebody can share the screen. Okay, uh, I don't know. I if can it's... share my screen. All right, let's do it. Este, verdad. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, before the the automobile. Let me see the first one is before the automobile. Let me see the other one is people using to shop a small storage. Pollution is becoming serious problem. Most people are going to work at home. People didn't travel as much from city to city. They will be probably citizens in space people work more than 40 hours a week people playing the first game of golf doctor might find cure and the Compton call let me see which one you do you think for me the the answer with the question number one is the 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 answer number two Pollution is, pollution is becoming a serious problem. Before, before the automobile. Pollution. pollution is como la contaminación, ¿verdad? Ajá. Eh, la contaminación era un, un problema serio. Ajá. Pero está diciendo antes de los... Antes. Ajá, o sea... Uh -huh. Ah, bueno. Before, bueno, sí. Before, before Yo creería más, es the people work more than work. Sí, es cierto, me había equivocado. People okay. didn't travel as much cities. Ok, so, uh, escogemos esa, la que dice people work more than 40 hours a week. Mm, aunque mm. también, eh, no creo porque dice las personas trabajan más de 40 horas a la semana. Es que es algo relacionado como que las personas antes que las personas anduvieran como en automóvil algo así verdad ajá trabajan sí, para sí. obtener dinero para comprar supongo porque ese también puede ser no sé porque dice esta the uh, people didn't travel as much uh -huh. from city to city o sea Sí. Las personas sí, tiene, no viajaban. Las personas no viajaban mucho de, de ciudad a ciudad. Uh -huh. Podría ser, ¿no? Sí, esa podría sí. ser también. Dejamos sí. esa. De, dejamos esa. Dice, before there were supermarkets. Before there were supermarkets, see the first bar. People used to the shop at small stuff revolution because she was in, in this case, it seems the, the answer yeah. number one, maybe. People using shop at a small storage. Las personas uh -huh. solían comprar en, en tiendas pequeñas. Ah, podría ser, ¿no? Uh -huh. Ya, de, uh -huh. sí, sí tiene, tiene lógica, ¿no? 
Chiefs. Bueno, ok, vamos a eso entonces. This uh, about 500 years ago. 500 is this. Uh, 500 años. 500 años, ¿verdad? Sí. Eso es como algo futurista, podría ser la. la... Ajá. Sí, podría ser. La quinta. The number five. Number five, ¿cuál es? There will probably. Is... Ah, podría sí. ser. Ya, yeah, that's right. ¿Qué, There... ¿Qué, qué, qué, qué o sea, que eh, probablemente las ciudades estarán en el espacio, ¿no? Uh, sí. Sí, una idea futurista. Oye, casi sal... terminemos la... All right, welcome back, guys. Did everybody finish the activity? I finished. Okay, excellent. Uh, Jose, let me have the first one. I finished. Excellent, okay. Karen. Thank you. People didn't travel as much from city to city. All right. Before the automobile, people didn't travel as much from city to city. Correct. Um, let me have number two, Oscar or Karen. Number two. Okay, number two, before where where supermarket, people used to shop at small stores. Very good, very good. Or people used to uh, eat garrobo. Or people used to, <laughs> yeah. Snake. 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 Yeah, yes. Ra or rabbit. Garrobo, garrobo, I Bacala. ate. I eat garrobo and kuzuko. <laughs> Everything. I can say, animals. I can say takwasin. Takwasin, raccoon. <laughs> okay, number three. Number three. Let me have number three, please. Sara, number three. Okay. People, sorry, about, about five. 100 years ago, people played the first game of golf. Very good. People played the first game of golf. Okay. And number four, Marlene. Number four, Marlene. Wait. Number four. Yes. In most office today, people work more than 40 hours a week. People work more than 40 hours a week. Good job. Number five. Selma, number five. Or oh, Sylvia or oh, Benjamin. Oh, Me, number five. Sylvia, number five. And in many cities nowadays, population is becoming a serious problem. Excellent. Excellent. Number six. Number six. Let, let me have number six. Oscar Santana, number six. Oscar Santana, number six. All right, Jenny, number six. Oh, Jose, number six. Number six, Nico. Okay. Soon, most people are going to work at home. Soon, most people are going to work from home, correct. Uh, number seven, Elisa.
or in the next hundred year. In the next years, there will probably be city in space. There will probably be cities in space. No, I, no. Doctor, doctor might find a cure for the common cold. Yeah. Okay, might find a cure for the common cold. Good job. All right, number eight is Sara. Number eight. Okay. Sometime in the future, uh, there will be probably be, sorry, there will probably be cities in space. Yes. Very good. Very good. Good job. Excellent work, guys. Do you have any questions in regards to this vocabulary? Any questions in regards to this vocabulary? Or pronunciation. Yes, soon. Uh huh. Soon. What is the meaning? Uh, soon. Pronto. pronto. Correct. Soon means pronto. Cuando la gente dice see you soon, quiere decir te veo pronto. See you soon. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Yes. Good job. Another question. Another question. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one, which is phrases with time phrases in an intonation. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with the time frame. Pronunciation practice. Pronunciation. Intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past. So, I want you to notice that the pronunciation in the beginning, in the past, today, in the future, the intonation is up. Today, in the future, in the past. So, the pronunciation is very strong in the time phrase, and then at the end, the pronunciation drops. Computers, time, every home. Let's listen. Very few people used computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Can you now complete these statements with your own information? Read the statements to your teacher. As a child, I used to. Two years ago, I. In five years, I. All right, let's practice the pronunciation. Listen and, pr Listen and repeat. In the past. 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 Very few people used computers. Today, people use computers all the time. People, people use, use computers, computers all, all the time. time. In the future, in the future, in the future there will be a computer in every home. Okay, so for this activity, I want you to record yourself saying these sentences. Se va a grabar diciendo estas oraciones on bocaru.com. And then you're going to put it over here in the discussion forum. And the topic is going to be pronunciation pronunciation yeah right there and then you're gonna record it record on vocaru.com and then you're gonna send it there 
Any questions? Any questions? How do you no. do? No, teacher. This. I'm sorry. Ah, it's a platform. The name of the platform is called vocaroo.com. Vocaroo.com. Let me share the. Let me share it. Give me one second. Please write in yes. chat, please. Yeah, I'm going to put it right there. Can you write in the chat, please? Yes. Bocaroo.com. 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 All right. So practice with your group and then record yourself. Practice with your group and then record yourself. Entonces no la vamos a leer, vamos a armar nuestras propias oraciones. La paz y todo eso. Yo entendí así como, como leerla. Pues sí, así la entendí. Que yo uh -huh, leerla ahorita. Ah. Ajá, algo así. Decía, la paz dijo, ¿verdad? Yo me cuesta un poco. Ayúdenme. In the past, very few people use computer. Uh, today, people use computer all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. <laughs> Joven de los hermanos, 19 años. Okay. Y, y para, para la grabación. Para la grabación, dije de que en, en parte. En Bacurú. Pero eso que sea personal, ¿verdad? Ajá, sí, sí. Ahorita entendí yo que solo lo pronuncié a la mujer. Ah, ok. Claro que Futuro, ¿verdad? Que se dice. YouTube. ¿Cómo me dice futuro? Future. Future. Si gusta la ley alguien de ustedes, entonces para escuchar. Hola. Hola. Hello. ¿Cómo es la pronuncia usted? La the three. Okay. In the past, very few people use computers. Today, people use computers, computers all the time. Mm -hmm. In the future, there will be computer. There will be a computer in every home. Okay. In, in the past, a few people use computer. Today, many people, the people use computer. All right, guys, time's up. Time's up. It's time to go. So, I have a question. Yeah, what's up? What's up? What's the question? Eh, ¿Dónde está para grabar? 
Oh. Oh, tengo que, aparte de la plataforma, en, en Google. Sí, sí, se va en Google y pone vocaroo.com y le aparece la, uh, la pantalla principal. Si quiere, escríbame para ayudarle. Por favor. Gracias, Carolina. Thank you. Ahí en el grupo, agarre mi número y me escribe. Thank you, Carolina. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay. See you guys. See you Monday. See, See you, you Monday. Good night. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. A lot of pupusas and pollo campero. <laughs> or mama choose. <laughs> Yeah. Go to the gym. Uh, go, to the gym. go to the gym and then eat a hamburger. Don't make more fun. Don't make more fun. Okay, guys. Good night. Bye bye. Bye.